she wants to say hi to you guys. <laughs> say hello, friends. Juba, can you say hey to your friends? <laughs> say hey, friends. <laughs> it has been a rainy couple of days around here, and with the rain has come a major shift in the weather. <laughs> Do you miss your friends? Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so sorry. Uh, the weather has cooled off quite a bit. You guys can see I'm rocking a sweater. It's just kind of been a gross day, been inside. Uh, my niece is still here, so that's been cool, just being able to hang out. Um, but I'm not doing a lot outside right now. But I have been asked uh, for you guys to see me in the kitchen a bit more. But if I'm being completely honest, Nathan does most of the cooking around here. He, one, just cooks a lot better than I do. Um, come here, Jim. He actually really, really enjoys it too, so I think that is a plus. There are some things that like, I do really well, and if we're having that for dinner, then of course I do it. But I'm gonna say most of the time, Nathan is the, June, shush. <laughs> Nathan is the one that's cooking, he enjoys it, but today we're kinda tag teaming it. He is going to be smoking some salmon, so I'm gonna show you guys that process. I'm gonna be making nasturtium pesto. We have a ton of nasturtiums right now. Thought that would be really good, kind of spread across the top of that salmon. Um, but you guys wanna know what we do in the kitchen? So I thought we would just have this be a little family vlog, show you, um, we smoke a lot, so just kind of how easy that process is for us. Using some of our nasturtiums, uh, we grow these every year. They actually taste really good. We garnish them with a lot of things. I've never actually made the pesto. Recipe seems pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, so I'm gonna go harvest some of those, bring them in the house, and we'll get started. So the recipe calls for like 50 um, nasturtium leaves. I'm honestly not gonna count. I've just got my little clam shell here. This is what I package microgreens in. I'm just gonna take it out here, fill it up. I think it'll probably work. Y'all, <laughs> here's some real life. I'm in my, <laughs> I'm in my slippers. So yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna count. I'm just grabbing a chunk and I think if I fill it, I'm trying to get some of these bigger leaves too. I think a roundabout number will probably be okay. That's probably enough. If it doesn't look right, I mean, this is a 32 ounce container. I'll run back out here and grab some, but I don't know. That seems like it's about 50. So Nathan has the smoker preheating. Um, I'm assuming that is a lot like an oven. Yes? Yes, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't know you were talking to me. He's so used to me talking to myself whenever I am actually talking to him. He's like, what? I think it's pretty basic, the smoker. We smoke a lot of food, but what do you do? So with my smoker, I don't know about anybody else's, but I'm just now getting this thing figured out. I essentially preheat it, get it to um, 215, 225 where I want it, uh, but it always starts out hot, so I never put anything on the smoker right away so i have to adjust it and play with it so it takes me about 20 minutes to get it and we um, buy our little chips from rabbit ridge um i'm sure you could find this locally to you but yeah we just buy uh, pellets. yeah the pellets so while nathan's smoker is preheating doing whatever it needs to be doing i thought we would work on the nasturtium pesto i think my plan for this depending on what he says because i really don't know um is just to spread a thin layer of this on top of it i'm not sure if you've ever had a nasturtium they're kind of peppery the actual flowers do you think the leaves taste like a uh, radish too like yeah so the leaves or the flowers most of them have a radish taste so i'm hoping with all the other components it'll taste maybe mild it won't be as pungent uh, or punchy as if you were just to eat the leaf straight um so what you'll need is a half a cup of olive oil a half a cup of parmesan cheese 
Um, obviously your nasturtium leaves. It called for pistachios, a fourth a cup of pistachios, or it said your favorite nut. I don't have pistachios. All I have right now is almonds, so we're gonna toast about a fourth a cup in a skillet, um, salt and pepper, and that's it. So it said you just needed to do this for about two or three minutes. Um, so I am literally just turned my oven on medium heat and I'm just gonna toast these babies up. So the recipe calls for a food processor. I don't actually own a food processor. Uh, Nathan's looking at me like, we we'll probably need to. So I'm just gonna try to do this in my blender, which is anytime a recipe calls for a food processor, I use it and it works pretty well. So I'm gonna be using a blender today. Obviously, if you have a food processor, I would recommend that. It's probably gonna work a lot better. I should probably also add, this is not my recipe. Um, I got this, Baker Creek had shared it. Um, and then another account I follow shared it and it just looked really good. So that's kind of what inspired me. Hey, I've got all these nasturtiums. I really wanna try them. Um, so you're gonna wanna wash the leaves of your nasturtiums, which I've done. And and then just fill your food processor or blender up about three fourths of the way full. Let me get these things. So Nathan is manning the almonds. Apparently you want to have your heat on medium, um, stirring about every 30 seconds because they'll burn. So apparently you want to wait until they start smelling good. I don't really smell them, do you? No, yeah, I don't smell them. So that's kind of my key is when they start smelling good, I think we'll know. Um, but you'll just, so I'm gonna have added the leaves, blend this up. Once it's blended, I'll just keep adding and you'll do that for until all your nasturtium leaves are blended up. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. I can't even find the lid to my blender. I thought maybe I could risk it and just try turning it on without a lid. Nathan thought no. So I'm literally using my tea pitcher. Talk about working with what you have. <laughs> So after you blend up your leaves, mine didn't blend up that well, probably because I'm using a blender and not an actual food processor. But then you're gonna add in your nuts, which is what I'm doing. Oh, that's hot. All right, then you're going to turn this on, chop this up really good, blend it all up well. So then you're gonna go ahead and add all of your cheese and then about half of your oil. I love how I'm like saying this is like I know like I'm a pro. No, I'm following the recipe on my phone. <laughs> Anytime she wants to cook though, she's welcome. <laughs> so you'll blend that, but then you'll just continue to add oil until you have the consistency that you like. That's why I didn't go through and count the leaves. It looks like it was around about 50. So if you're lo looking for a more pesto type consistency and you use more leaves, that's totally fine. Just go through and add more oil. And then you're just gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. So I'm just gonna add a little, and then I'm gonna let Nathan taste it, and then I'm gonna decide if I need to add more or not. I'm supervising. <laughs> He's a good supervisor. All right. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I like to plate things, and this actually turned out pretty good. I don't recommend the blender, um, just because there was a smoke a few times. I saw smoke a few times. Uh, so a food processor, if you have it. I mean, you can do a blender, obviously. I made this in a blender. But I think a food processor probably would have made it a bit more smoother. And probably would have chopped up the nuts a bit better than my blender did. All right. It is done. It looks beautiful. I mean, this color, I'm really impressed. It didn't make an entire, this is a pint jar. So it didn't make... Uh, quite a pint but it's gonna go my plan was just to use this for dinner so I think it'll be fine and then we'll just store it in the fridge <laughs> so oh wait I got you a spoon <laughs> so Nathan's gonna be the taste tester very good <laughs> are you being serious very good I would add a little salt okay just so make. more salt see so that's a good thing what is the overall taste that you're tasting? <laughs> kind of nutty. Okay. Like a good kind of nutty? Good kind of nutty with a little heat. Oh, really? Yep. Nathan always tries the food. Always. He's much braver than I am. You want to try it too? You want to try it? Probably needs a little more olive oil as well. Wow, that's a lot better than I thought. I, t <laughs> I taste the Parmesan cheese a lot. Um, I feel like maybe I could have 
Do you hear our children? <laughs> I feel like I could have cut back on the Parmesan cheese, honestly. It called for a half a cup, but I might have even done like maybe a fourth a cup. Or maybe it will taste really good, you know, smothered all over the salmon. Um, but yeah, way better than I was expecting. All right, so Nathan added more salt and pepper. He also said he thought a little extra olive oil would help with the consistency, and it did. I added quite a bit, and it's just not near as thick. You guys can see it's like running off the spoon. It was not doing that before. Um, I think that will probably help with the flavor of the Parmesan cheese, too. Just kind of dim it down a little bit. And now that's made, I mean, I didn't I didn't have a very full, now we're almost at a pint. So I do think you should play around with the recipe, figure out how many mistertiums you're using and just add. I mean, I didn't even do this in the blender. I just added it and I've just been hand mixing it. <laughs> Is it better? Yeah, it's fantastic. It tastes really, really well. Do y'all hear that? He said it was fantastic. Husband approved. Really good. All right, since we're kind of just showing you what we're having for dinner tonight, Nathan's just got cauliflower rice and butternut squash. And it was literally just frozen. He threw it in the pan. And we're just going to have this with the salmon and then search them and probably put it over like some fresh spinach or something like that. <laughs> so we are out here checking on the salmon. Typically, this is a Nathan job, but I have accompanied him. Uh, I just wanted to give you a clear idea on how long when I say I I mean Nathan Nathan wanted to give you a clear idea and it's so funny I have to show you guys what he's doing what you doing <laughs> I'm googling <laughs> so I'm assuming you just kind of look at it is that how you figure out yeah I weighed it and it depends on how um, much the the meat weighs but uh, Looks like we've got about 15 minutes left. <laughs> it smells fantastic. A lot of times when Nathan and I have like long days, especially on the weekends where we know we're gonna be outside all day, we will marinate and season our meat the night before. Um, we do a lot of like chicken thighs and stuff like that. We don't really eat a lot of chicken breast, but we've even done like our pork chops and things like that and just let them marinate overnight and then set a timer in a certain point of the day, pop it in the smoker, and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. When the timer goes off, we come and get it. And it's just really alleviated that having to be in the kitchen, um, especially for Nathan who does most of the cooking. When we're outside all day, he's not wanting to come in and cook dinner. Um, I don't want to have to come in and cook dinner. So the smoking uh, has solved a lot of problems for sums up what we are having for dinner it actually looks so good I cannot wait to dive into it uh, this is a pretty basic meal for us this is what a lot of our meals look like kind of just hodgepodge thrown together sometimes we even joke like oh wow this tastes a lot better than it looks um, the pesto's new the yeah pesto's the pesto is definitely new as far as like just you know the spinach and the cauliflower rice and throwing something on the smoker that's something that we typically do several times a week um, but thank you guys for hanging out in our kitchen with us today as we kind of tag team dinner uh, we really appreciated it it and was nice yeah it was nice having some help <laughs> anyways but thank you guys and we'll talk to you soon